Using the quadratic formula to your advantage, we're going to factor this mess, which we can make two brackets, and then, oh, gee, we have to figure out, it, do we have x and 6x, or 2x and 3x, and then the 5 is not that difficult because it's 5 and 1 automatically, but there's a negative in there. And so there's some trial and error, and then you have to go back and forth, and your paper gets all messy with all the eraser marks. So we're going to use the handy-dandy new little trick that we learned in the previous video. This is my original problem. If I just randomly say it equals to 0 and say I'm going to solve for x, I can use the solution to force it into here. So I'm going to do that by using my formula, and it means that this has to be in the form ax squared minus bx minus uh, ax squared plus bx plus c. Here we have b is negative 7, c is negative 5. So I'm going to write that out. So negative b, which is my orange plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is orange, <coughs> squared minus 4 times a green, and c purple, all over 2 times a green. So now I can just stick those in. I'll be very careful. You know what? I probably should get a thinner marker on this. I really messed that one up, didn't I? Okay, so this is negative 7. Don't lose the negatives. And here's 6 and negative 5. Again, don't lose the negatives. So now I can do the arithmetic. Back to the big marker. So this is 7 plus or minus. Uh oh, gosh, gee totally left out this, let's go down here, there we go, 7 plus or minus the square root of 7 squared is 49, Four, negative 4 times 6 times negative 5, this is 30 times 4 is 120, so that's plus 120, 2 times 6 is 12, so this is 7 plus or minus the square root of 169, how nice, over 12. Through an amazing use of technology, I have managed to save myself from an error. So this is 7 plus or minus 13 over 12, which here I go 7 plus 13 over 12, and here is 7 minus 13 over 12. So we went from here and we went in both directions. This is 20 over 12, which reduces to 10 over 6, which reduces to 5 over 3. It is important that you reduce this completely. If you don't, you'll get yourself into a jam. It's not a bad jam. <coughs> Pardon me but it is a jam. 7 minus 13 is negative 6 over 12 is negative 1 half. So I'm going to use these two, like I showed in a previous video, to see what I can do with the factorization. So I should be able to take 3 to be in the front, x minus 5, because remember, change the sign. And here I have 2 is the front, change the sign, plus 1. This should be my factorization. Here's my 3 and 5, and here's my 2 and 1 from here. And let's just multiply this out to check. 3x times 2x is 6x squared, good so far. 3x times 1 is 3x. Negative 5 times 2x is negative 10x. Looks good. And then negative 5 times 1 is, ne is negative 5, so this is 6x squared plus a negative 7x 
minus 5, which is what I started with. Yippee.